All right, and back. Again, because it takes a while to do a Nuzlocke and it's dull and boring to watch grinding, some moments we're just going to have a shorter day for a Nuzlocke, and instead we're going to be doing an extra project. I've already gone on record, I'm a big fan of Pokemon side games. I've already stated I happen to like uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Here's the thing. Technically, I've played almost every Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game in existence, except for the one on Switch, because that one's a remake, 1 and 2. It doesn't change all that much, all things considered, in comparison to Blue and Red Rescue Team, which it's emulating. This is the exception. Technically, I own a copy of Explorers of Time. I got it when it first released, and I played the shit out of it growing up. I never once touched Explorers of Sky, because, and I, honestly, I wrote it off. Specifically because Explorers of Sky... I originally thought it was just, okay, it's just more Mystery Dungeon. But I, it's essentially just a redone version of Time and Darkness. While that's partially true, it also does change a few things in the formula. It also adds some additional story items. And those I have not seen. Mystery Dungeon is one of those series that means a lot to me. And I've been meaning for the longest to properly demonstrate that and show that I'm actually decent at some games. At that, I don't fully remember if, like, all the action happens on the touch or top screen. I think it, everything happens on the touch screen, so... I'm going to have to reorganize some of these windows. There we go. So without further ado, an excuse for terrible voice acting and to actually have fun with another Pokemon game. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Though before you depart for adventure... You must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then let the questions begin. Seriously, this is the first question I'm given? Yes, I have, actually. I've already mentioned, I own Explorers of Time. I almost 100%ed it too, so that should go, that should say a lot as to how much I like Mystery Dungeon. Have you ever accidentally called a teacher mom or dad? No, I haven't. I've had teachers in the past where they have felt like parents. One of them actually was a psychology professor in college. He was one of the bigger reasons why I decided to take life a little less seriously and try to take up streaming, actually. Well, one of the many influences on that one. But regardless, no. You've won big on a raffle ticket. You say... I can't believe it. Honestly, I've had terrible luck my entire life, so... The simple fact that... If I ever won, actually won a raffle ticket like this, I'd believe it's some sort of hoax. Or better yet, I would think... Oh, hey, it must be, like, a t terrible prize. If you saw someone doing something bad, could you scold them? Hmm. That's actually a... interesting question. In my own experiences, I've had moments where I've seen people do terrible things, and sometimes I've scolded them for it. Other times, and more often than not, I actually get cold feet. It it comes with me being a shy person in the first place. Very talkative, but that's only when I'm comfortable around something. Do you prefer to be busy or have a lot of free time? 
If I'm ever busy for any type of reason, then it better be something that I enjoy doing, or something that interests me. But at the same right, I would like to have some free time too, so I'm a bit on the in-between. Your friends made a meal that tastes terrible. They ask, how is it? I am one of those people that... I can be very honest, but I try to... Especially if they do their best with it, I feel like that by itself should be rewarded. Do you prefer to play outside rather than inside? No. You're in class when you realize that you really have to go to the bathroom. What do you do? I take care of my needs immediately. Gotta know when to go. What is outside? A what is outside? A miserable pile of trees! But enough talk. Have at leave. <laughs> Anyways, you've been asked to do a difficult task. What will you do? Surprisingly, I'm very much a person who tries to take care of it myself. I've had many instances where I've tried to delegate and leave other people to do what their specialty is. But especially when I came to college, I had to I did a lot of group projects and more often than not, I had to take the brunt of it myself. That doesn't mean I don't depend on other people on occasions. Hell, uh, I wasn't the one that set up the Discord for the most part. Muffin was. But for the most part, I try to do what I can by myself, then ask for help. Technically, I'm male, but I like playing as a girl, so... Your aura is the energy that you radiate. Relax, calm yourself, and press your fingertip gently on the bow. This part right here, I was mystified by this as a kid. Technically, it just takes any touch input. You could use your stylus for all you care. The DS has no way of recognizing that. But me as a little kid, in middle school if I remember correctly, I thought this was the coolest thing. This little personality test concluded by what I could only believe was some type of ethereal deity getting a read on me as a person. That was cool in my eyes. And there's a reason why we're doing all of this. Your aura is... <laughs> a subdued brown. Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the brave type. You don't know the meaning of fear. You're not afraid to keep moving forward in the face of danger. You also have a strong sense of justice and can't turn a blind eye to someone in trouble. But you sometimes put the push your own personal sense of justice a little too hard. Be careful that you don't get too pushy. So a brave type like you... ...is Charmander. BOO! So, all of those questions that we answered up to now... There are, I believe, 20 to 30 different questions in the game, and you're randomly given anywhere between 8 to 10 of them to answer at the start. Depending on how you answer those questions, you're carefully shuffled and shifted around the branching tree, bran the branches, the branching paths, and given a, a random starter. It is possible to game the system and answer specific ways so you get a specific starter. But you know what? I want to make this work because this is a fun project. I'll deal with being uh, a Charmander. You can, however, redo the quiz as many times as you want. You just need to reset the game at this point and redo all those questions. It's up to you. As for the partner... We have a few different options here. All of the starters from Generations 1 through 4. And additionally, Pikachu. And Eevee. 
Is it Pikachu? Sorry, Pikachu, Eevee, and also, I believe... Fanpy. Were all options that you could have within Explorers of Time and Darkness. Explorers of Sky adds a few other options. Those being Shinx and Riolu. At that, with the quiz at the beginning, there's also one specific Pokemon that you can only get if you're male and only get if you're female, too. Just a little trivia. Let's see. Secondary Pokemon we're gonna have here. Considering I'm a fire type, I feel like my partner should probably be a water type, but it's Eevee. Wait, what? The hell is Meowth doing here? Meowth wasn't here before. Hmm. Let's do Eevee. We also get to name the partner. This name will be permanent, and we'll have to deal with it for the rest of our lives. I kind of want to use a character, one of my characters for this. Let's go with... Seliana. You're off to the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Ah! Uh, uh. Are... are you okay? No. Don't let go! Just a little longer. Come on. Hang on! No! I can't! Hold... on! I refuse to st I refuse to smart. <laughs> yes, I refuse to smart too. Uh, where, where am I? I can't, it's drifting off. Hmm. No. I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. Today, I'm going to be brave. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Eevee's! The footprint is Eevee's! Ah. That shocked me. Ugh. I can't. I, I can't bring myself to go in. I vowed I'd do it today, but... Hmm. I thought that holding on to my personal treasure would inspire me. <sighs> I, I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. Hey, Zubat. 
Did you get a load of that? You bet I did, coughing. The little wimp was pack the, the little wimp that was pacing around. That's something good, right? That wimp had something, that's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. The crabs. Wow, what a beautiful sight. When the weather's good, the crabby come out at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles reflecting the setting sun off the waves. It's always beautiful. This is where I always come when I'm feeling down on myself. But it makes me feel good to be here, like always. Coming here heals my spirits. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? Ah, someone collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? Uh, you're awake! Ah, oh, thank goodness. Where... Am I? You wouldn't move at all. I was really scared for you. Do you have any idea how you ended up unconscious out here? I... I was unconscious? What happened? A anyway, I'm Saliana. Happy to meet you. Who are you? I don't think I've seen you around before. What? You say you're a human? You look like a totally normal Charmander to me. It's true. I've turned into a Charmander. But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're... a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? You're telling me the truth. Okay. How about your name? What's your name? My name? Um, that's right, my name is... Casey. Okay. You don't seem to be a bad Pokemon, at least. Sorry I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. A lot of Pokemon have, getting, have been getting aggressive lately. It's not just safe. It's just not safe anymore. <coughs> well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> Can't figure it out. We wanted to mess with you. Can't face up to us, can you? What? That's yours, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's... Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna make a move to get that back. What's the matter? It's too scared. I didn't expect you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> Uh, what do I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... No. There's no time to waste. I have to get it back. Can you please help me? What should I do? We don't have any time to waste. Let's go. But, but you can't just... That's my precious treasure. If that disappeared, I... Please... Please help me. Fine. Really? You'll help me? Thank you. G can we take care of it now?
For the uninitiated, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a cross between, well, Pokemon and Sheer and the Wanderer. Unfamiliar with Sheer and the Wanderer? Don't worry, I'll explain as we go. So how Sheer and the Wanderer works is everyone moves at the same time, essentially. Your party members do get priority, so your movements go first, technically, then the opponent's movements go. Every time you move, an opponent moves, and so on and so forth. At that, I also need to change something else. Because... There's the speed. I pretty much always play on fast. Because, as you've seen, the slow speed is very slow. General controls are relatively simple to grasp. D-pad to move. You can hold down the B button to accelerate yourself in a line. Ooh, helping hand. Nice. Scratch, and there. Throughout dungeons, you'll find Poke. Collect as much of it as possible. You can use this shops. Buy stuff. You can also find items. Sheer and the Wanderer is a group of dungeon crawling games where it's not just how you fight, but also how you use the items that you have with you. As of current all, we've got only a one item inventory. That'll expand to up to 16, which will then expand even further beyond that. At least for right now, all we've got is an Ornberry. We can chew on that to restore 100 health instantly. Yeah, that's going to be weird by itself. 100 health when the Ornberry normally does 10. But that's just how Mystery Dungeon takes its rules. Your objective is to get to the staircase every single floor. This will be in a random place on procedurally generated floors. Sometimes it's as simple as, oh hey, you've just spawned in the room, so go into the next room. But just because you can get to the stairs doesn't mean that you necessarily have to get to the stairs. Let alone, is it a good idea? By exploring the dungeon, you can find more and more items to use to help you out in, the, in your journey. And sometimes it's better to use some looting as opposed to blitzing through the dungeon. You know what? I want an excuse to bully someone. There's a sleeping Pokemon here. EAT! <laughs> there was no point in me doing that, but I like doing that. And these types of games do incentivize that type of thinking. If your inventory gets full, that doesn't necessarily mean you can't technically carry an item with you. You just need to be a bit creative about it, which means flinging it around. And there's a Shellos. Ruin this shelter's day. <laughs> well, it said stay smart. Yeah, exactly! Oh, right, there's one other thing I wanted to set, and that is... There we go. So that way we have a running tracker of not just the map, but also where everyone is. I figure that's going to be useful. Ah, oh, gah. Thanks for the helping hand. And wrecked. This tile right here, 
Sheer and the Wander type games are famous slash infamous for having trap tiles. This is one of those cases where it's technically a helpful tile. The Wonder Tile. Wonder Tiles will normalize all any and all stat changes made to you. Having a, is having a bit of trouble with inaccurate moves? Step on a Wonder Tile. Suddenly dealing minimum damage with all your moves? Wonder Tile. Of course, there are not just benefits, but also drawbacks. You noticed that I had my EV partner here, Celiana, use Helping Hand. Well, rather, the CPU used Helping Hand. The moment I stepped on this tile, the positive stat changes that I made too got erased. If I remember correctly, this can also apply to your opponents too, so and sometimes it's a good idea to force your opponent onto that tile, just so they could normalize and become more vulnerable. At that, you've also probably noticed that I've been pretty much using Scratch all this time. Be careful! This is where the Pokémon part of this comes in, and all of these moves have limited uses. When you run out of uses of moves, you can't use it anymore until you restore the power on it. And if the power on all of your moves is minimum, then the next time you use a move, you'll use Struggle. Struggle deals crap damage to targets and also damages you heavily. Be careful. Uh, hey. Well, well, if it isn't our old friend the big chicken. I'm a fox. Give me back what you stole from me. That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? Could be worth more than we'd hoped for it, I say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows? Might get a good price. <laughs> All the more reason not to give it back. You can't. If you want it back that badly, come and get it. And introducing our first quote-unquote boss. Versus Coughing and Zubat. Of course I say boss, but this is relatively easy, all things considered. Uh, let's focus weak. And done. Relatively simple, but that's just how it is for the first boss. Ugh. Ugh. We got roughed up. Blast it. How'd we get wiped out by wimps like them? Ugh. Here, take it then. <laughs> Don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, yeah, you just remember that. Ugh. My relic fragment. Thank goodness. I actually managed to get it back. This only happened because you helped me, Casey. Thank you. Thank you very much. I only helped because I happened to be there. Is to be there. Was that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon's clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole from me. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least, that's why I started calling it. But this fragment, it's my precious treasure. See, uh, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves full of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness, and new lands just waiting to be discovered. Such places must be full of gold and treasure. And history? Wouldn't it be dramatic to make historic discoveries? That's what I always dream of. It's all so exciting to me. And it just so happened that I found this fragment. Sure, it does look like junk, but take a closer look at it. Look there. See that strange pattern inscribed on it? It's true. That's a really peculiar inscription. I've never seen a pattern like it before. There must be some meaning to this pattern. This relic fragment must be the key to something legendary. To an area where precious treasure lies. At least, that's the feeling I get. 
That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something, somewhere. I want to discover what that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice. But I was too cowardly. What about you, Casey? What are you gonna do? You lost your memory and somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have any place where you could stay? If not, could I ask a favor? Would you form an exploration team with me? I think we could make a good exploration team together, Casey. So, would you do that for me? Please? Uh, what do I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue! I don't know what an exploration team is, but what should I do? Are you... Huh? Am I what? What do you mean, are you? You trying to talk me into it? What? Uh, to talk you into it? The thought never crossed my mind. I'm, I'm a complete coward. Honestly, I, I mean, yes, I thought I could depend on you. But during that fight with coughing earlier, having you there, I, I felt brave. I could do anything as long as you're with me, I feel like. So please, I'm begging you. It's true, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have any clue where I, where, what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Celiana for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Then it's settled. I'll join you. Really? Thank you. We'll be a great combination. Let's make this work. Though first we need to go to Wigglytuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we can get training to become a proper exploration team. I think the training will be very tough. So let's give it our best. And so, Celiana and Casey formed an exploration team. This turned out to be the very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival.